in Cape Town. <laughs> I wasn't really trying to go to Africa, but it was good. Sean Edwards, Fox, Kansas City. Now, you, you got a nice life. Man, I like this suit, though. Hey, I'm trying to, you know, stay like you, bro. No, no, no. Follow your it. steps. I got the memo that blue was in, but I like that blue right there. What's that, like electric blue? What color blue is that? I man, like that, man. Uh, yeah, kind of electric, bro. Yeah, you're establishing yourself nicely. That's I'm trying to, man. I'm trying no, to, you know. a great look. <laughs> no, you got, Thank you, bro. Yeah, you Thank got you. to celebrate it, man. I, although, the unfortunate thing is, well, they say this is the final chapter, but this is the first time you got to participate. I so know, it's right? It's kind of like the gift The first and, and final. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, they let me in. <laughs> they, 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 they let me in. But I was so <laughs> happy jumping on the board, and everybody was jumping off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how, how much fun was it? Because, I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, because you got a chance probably to go back and take a peek at the first five. Then you got a chance to participate in number six. Yeah, well, actually, I was a big fan of the, uh, the franchise before. So I saw, I had the chance to see the, uh, all five movies. And I had the chance to play the game once in a while because I like playing video games sometimes with my son, my my, my friends. And um, when I when I when I got the call um, from my agent and, and manager telling me that offering me a role in the movie and to read the script if, and if I liked it I was gonna go to to South Africa and I said, brother, are you are you crazy? Are you kidding me? I don't need to read the script. I read it on the way. You go and tell them yes. <laughs> you know I want to be part of this and. You know, I, I knew it was going to be the last um, movie of the franchise, so it was the only chance for me to be part of it. That's cool. Now, you mentioned you got a chance to go to Cape Town in South yeah. Africa. What was that experience like, number one, just experiencing <clears throat> the city of Cape Town? Man, I'm telling you, that place is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. Everywhere you are, you go an hour to your left, you got desert. You got an hour uh, to your right, you got safari. You got penguins. You got everything, bro. You got, I mean, it's just such an amazing place. It's sad that shooting such in a beautiful place, you have to turn into the ugliest place in the world, you know? <laughs> you can't really show the locations. You, you, you mess it all, all up, you know, with uh, the zombie movie. So it's too sad that we couldn't show the locations how we, how we really were. But I mean, it's, um, it was a fun place to be while you shoot a movie, you know? How, how grueling, how intense was <clears throat> to shoot? Because like, when you're sitting there and you're watching this thing on the big screen, it's like, wow, it's amazing to see what you guys went through. But what was it like during the actual process? It was cool, man. I'm telling you, um, it, it was so real. Every time, every day you get to, to the set, it wasn't hard to get into character. You know, um, the whole occasions, you know, they, you know the, the hundreds of zombies uh, working with you every day. Um, it's so wonderful and cool to see the movie from from the outside, you know, and now be part of this Resident Evil world. It was something very awesome, man. One thing, one time you're eating with the zombies, and the next thing, you're killing them, you know? <laughs> That's gotta be funny. What was it like working with the main cog, Mila? And, and what did she tell you to kind of, like, get you in the mood to become a part of this franchise? You know, I knew it was coming in a uh, franchise where they've been working for a long time, almost for 14, I think, for 15 years. So they're like a family already, you know. I, uh, but as soon as I step my, my, you know, as soon as I step on the set, they made sure I felt at home. And, man, I'm telling you, it was a great experience from beginning to end. They, they were so nice. You know, Mila's such a cool woman. Paul, man, this guy is incredible, you know, and talented people. So every time you have a chance to work with people like that, you have a good time. All right, congratulations, man. Too bad Thank it's you, the bro. last, but I don't think it's going to be the last. So, you know, keep that cell phone Hopefully handy. Not, man. Hopefully I think you're going, you're going to get a... Hey, it's Lisa here with a pretty cool movie extras fact. Now, the parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments from 1956 is often considered the most expensive special effects in history. It involved matte paintings, reproduction, pyrotechnics, miniatures, water tanks, a 32-foot high dam, and 30,000 gallons of water. The parting was shot by pouring water into the tank and then playing the shot in reverse. Now keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell and I'll see you next time.